And that's the way we're kicking off Send It Sunday this week. We're up in the north of the Netherlands and this is a Jens. <laughs> that is such a nasty stack. Look at the sail. Yeah, absolutely destroyed the thing. Uh, Jens is from the, uh, I think it's the Student Association in the Netherlands and it was the first time at this particular spot. <laughs> Yeah, not a nice welcome, but that is it, isn't it? Just catch it wrong and ooh. Yeah, oh yeah, it's called Ermshaven or somewhere like this. Uh, but I say north of Holland. Uh, it looked like they had a great session, the student. Look at that. I mean, the, the filming isn't the best. I think we might need to get a tripod, boys. But look at the moves being thrown down. Looks like a great day, I've got to say. So uh, good effort, boys and girls. Good effort. Uh, right, talking of good efforts, check out this. Yeah, this is seven years old Oscar. He's been on the channel before. Of course he has, but seven years old and you're doing this. Yes, chop hops. This is his new favorite thing to do. Still on the eye rig. Yeah, that inflatable rig and going for chop hops. He's moved on to a smaller board. Uh, he's actually been playing around with a normal rig as well. It's like uh, his dad said, the 1.5 like uh, ripper rig. And he's been flying around. You know, he's been working on tacks and jives, but the chop hop, he says, is where it's at. Uh, they spent like the winter in Cape Town. So he's been down the lake, you know, seeing the, the freestylers down there. He's his sort of idols like George Grisley, yes, and that's why that chop up is coming out. But just check out this this is what we love to see. Seven years old, what am I, 46? Yes, he has got a lot of windsurfing ahead of him. Love it, absolutely love it. Yeah, so cool to see young rippers just tearing it up. And talking of young rippers, look at this fella. <laughs> yes, that was me. That was me in uh, in Maui a fair few years ago. Not that long ago, but a fair few years ago. I had hair, so it must have been a while ago. I got sent a couple of pictures from uh, from Stephen Williams. Yes, the Irish fella, and he also sent me a clip of him on his latest foil equipment. Yes. Um, how did it go? It was his first time in strong winds. He says, Ben, I think my harness lines were a bit short. This was the outcome. Yeah, so you know, he looks pretty comfortable. And then you start to look at the harness and I think, oh, maybe he does look quite close. And then <laughs> explosion, absolute eject button. Look at the distance that thing flies. Crazy, crazy. I mean, it's a good job no one was downwind because that thing absolutely launched. Yeah, I think we'll be seeing a fair few more of them over the next years as foiling maybe takes off more and more. But talking about launching, I got sent two videos. Now I can't work out the name of who they're actually from um, because it's just an email address. But I've looked at these two clips and they both launch in the same way, but they've got different sails but it's the same board. Check out this, no handed back loop. Yes, no, no added back loop. And this, it's pretty much the same move. Different clips, different times. Is it the same bloke? Let me know in the comments below if you are watching. I haven't got a name, but uh, nice little sends there. We like them. Uh, and talking of comments, in the last send, it's Sunday, I said just put in the comments and I will pick a comment out that I think is deserving of a windsurfing TV hat. Now I had a scan through the comments. There was lots of comments, but I definitely saw this one and I thought, you know what? This is definitely deserving of a windsurfing TV hat. So check out this. Yeah, Mark, a kite surfer of 17 years, says he's loved watching the channel. I said, you know, generally just in, he likes the enthusiasm of the channel uh, and he's took up windsurfing. He's learned it all off YouTube, basically. Uh, and he's just moved on to a smaller board. He's getting into water starts. And he said his kids have been watching it and they are even now more infused to get on the water. Now, if that doesn't deserve a windsurfing TV hat, I don't know if he's totally given up kite surfing, but to go from kite surfing to windsurfing and not be a kite windsurfer in the first place, 
well, he needs windsurfing TV on his hat. So uh, get in touch, mate, and I will send you a hat. Uh, if you guys want to win a hat, get in the comments below. I will pick a random comment. Well, not a random comment, a comment I like uh, in next week's show, and you will be receiving a windsurfing TV hat. If you're a member, hashtag member, it might help the cause. Uh, these new members are supporting the channel. They are new subscribers to the beer fund. They've chipped in some money. So uh, massive thanks to those guys and all the brands that are supporting us. Plus, SavannahSharp.com. Yeah, they are still supporting Send It Sunday. Right, where do we go next? Well, I think we've got to talk about this fella. Yeah, this is Joe, uh, and this is in West Kirby. He's 18 years old and he's just broke the 40 knot barrier. Yes, going down the wall in West Kirby. If you've never heard of the spot, never seen it, it is a great speed spot in the right direction. It's not the longest speed spot, but it's got basically a concrete wall that goes all the way down. So you get really flat close to it and it is perfect for breaking your personal speeds and without traipsing through the mud. So congratulations, Joe. Good skills, man. Love to see it. Budding speedster. And talking of speedsters, I also saw this on Instagram. Check out this. Yeah, this is Heidi Ulrich. Uh, she said it, I mean, I wrote to her and said, what is going on over there? She goes, Lake Uri, which is her home spot, they've had 40 to 50, up to 70 knots of wind. I ain't kidding you. Look at the water just getting displaced. Crazy, said absolutely maxed on like a 3 0 wave sail. She even took um, her 4 4 slalom sail out and went for a blast, like a speed sail. Says so too much, just too much to handle. 20 degrees air temperature, five in the water. Yeah, so pretty nippy. But just look at the winds on that lake. It's crazy. I've got like, there's some sort of weird local effect that just pulls the air down through. I mean, I've seen videos of uh, Bowles Muller, Yentl Cares and stuff, just doing crazy stuff on this lake. It is like got some weird stuff going on, but amazing, amazing to see it. You know, you can push off big jumps and, and everything. Absolutely epic stuff. And talking of epic stuff, did you see this? Morgan Warrow with the 360 into the pit at Matanzas, waiting for the perfect moment. Yes, of course, Morgan the Row pulling off an absolutely peachy Wave 360. Kai Kachadorian obviously on the mic uh, in the Chile World Cup. Now that was in the, in the semi-finals. He went on to finish second in the event and he is now leading the World Tour. Sarah Hauser leading in the women. So all that is coming up because I think the next event on the tour uh, is in a month or so, two months time in Pozo and it's going to switch it up loads loads of good stuff going on but massive celebration for that chili event the forecast and the way it all panned out and look what the locals have done for the organization just looked absolutely killer some really good images and live streams coming out um, from there so looking really good for the tour um, obviously Kai Kachadorian was there commentating I wasn't there and also Kai Kachadorian was here yes this is in California uh, and this is James Van from Van Sports and he said he got absolutely steamrolled. Yeah, what is the lesson here? Oh, you absolutely smashed. What's the lesson? Well, let's go back to the beginning. What does he do? Yeah, he jibes. He doesn't look Probably, well, maybe he looked, maybe he misjudged it, but always look before you jive. He's filming his mate, which gets some pretty sick footage, but then gets absolutely steamrolled. Yeah, he got absolutely steamrolled, but everything's still intact, which is amazing. Uh, and talking of things being intact, let's go to the last clip. This is uh, Frederick Bonnet in France, uh, well, Perpignan. And uh, this is him, just minding his own business, flying along. He's got the Insta360 cam. And uh, yeah, you're thinking, well, this looks like a lovely day out. And then suddenly, 
Oh, yeah, got the clothesline, the full kite surfer clothesline. Nasty. He said, look, Ben, don't get angry. Everyone was okay. Apologies were made. There was a misjudgment, but I just wanted to put this clip on, not to do any hate, but just keep your eyes out because those lines are very, very tight. If they go around your neck, and I mean, I'm exaggerating. Oh, you got to go around your neck. It can really do that. So just keep an eye out. You know, there's cautious safety sailors out there and there's the just the, the let it all go crazy sailors. I am definitely more the cautious one. I look for exit routes. I look for things that could happen. You know, some people are a little bit more blinkered and uh, maybe that kite surfer is just like sending it and then, oh shit, I forgot about it. there might be somebody else if it goes wrong because things don't always go right. Um, so there we go. That is it for Send This Sunday this week. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Stay tuned for next week and we've got more podcasts coming up. If you didn't check out the podcast, The Fin podcast all about wave fins we're going to do more technical podcasts because reading the comments listening to you guys at home it sounded like that went down pretty well so i'm going to start to get a bit more nerdy on the podcast so there you go uh, only one thing left well only one thing left to say that no matter where you are in the world don't forget to send it.